Africa's vast stretches are the natural home and breeding grounds of a wide variety of birds and beasts. But unless protected, this wildlife would rapidly disappear and rigorous efforts made by such bodies as the Wildlife Protection Society of South Africa are devoted to seeing that that doesn't happen. Just the same, they're always in demand by zoos all over the world. And here in the Sudan is what amounts to a clearing house. Aha, would this be the pelican, whose beak, according to rhymed legend, can hold more than you'd think? Or maybe it's the shoebill or Marabus stork. We wouldn't know. Here's one we think we can recognize, the gazelle. Or is it? Anyway, this one's a cinch. It's a rhino. In fact, two of them. As a matter of fact, they're very special white rhinos, when fully grown, second in size only to the elephant. It's Paul and his mate Chloe, two of a rare species of which only 1,000 remain in the whole of Africa, 600 of them in the Sudan. Three years old, they have a smoother than usual skin, which reflects white dust, hence their name. But it'll take another seven years before they're fully grown. Their staple diet is grass vegetation, a fact used to full advantage when enticing them into their cages. Watch it, brother, that's how they caught me. But it's got to be done, for the precious pair have a long journey in front of them, and the first job is weighing them. Paul and his partner knock up well over 1,000 pounds dead weight apiece, and the fact is carefully noted. But it's over at last, and they're off on the first stage. For they've been sold by Khartoum Zoo to the Antwerp Zoo, priced 7,250 pounds. And what's more, they're making the journey by air, and it's essential that such a valuable cargo arrive safely. The long, involved journey by rail and boat was thought too risky, for that way, animals sometimes arrive safely, only to collapse after a few days. No time now, they'll be safely stowed for the trip. Stowing's a careful process, for they're not the only travellers, and some of them are tricky customers. Come on, Mischief, there's work to be done. We've got to get off. But all set at last, and the specially heated plane is away on her long journey to Europe. The plane's cargo is a mixed bag, a pair of buffaloes, another 900 pounds on the payload, in addition birds of many kinds, a tortoise, baboon, squirrels and food to feed them all on the trip. And here they are, journey's end or almost, with the bulk of their long voyage behind them, the job of unloading onto waiting vans proceeds apace. It's quite an occasion, not least for the animals and birds who must be wondering what it's all about. There'll be more puzzles still when they get to the zoo. There they'll just have to get used to staring crowds. Down they're lowered for positively the last time. All that remains is to get them out. Yes, the end's definitely in sight. Getting him out is more difficult than luring him in. But it's done. The crowds are waiting, so forward march and show your faces. <laughs>